It takes thousands of strings of Christmas lights to decorate the town of Ladysmith each year for the annual Festival of Lights. This drapes over the end and I'll plug it in underneath. Islanders have enjoyed the spectacular display for a quarter century, but what is truly outstanding about the festival is how on one early Sunday morning, regardless how miserable the weather may be, young and old line up to help put out the lights. Today we probably have well over 100 people. There's about 85 or 90 registered right now, but there's a lot of people just show up and go do things. Uh, a lot of the, the volunteers that come out with the bucket trucks and the other units, they just went uptown and started doing work. They didn't sign in. The community keeps it going. There, as you see, the mayor's out here helping. We've got all members of council, the city manager, uh, families, uh, groups take on an area, and that's theirs. And when the lights go on at light up night, they own it. Preparations for the Festival of Lights starts months ahead of the community work blitz. It takes a fair bit of time in terms of uh, setting our decorations up. Traditionally we start around mid-September but we're getting more efficient so we start uh, usually mid-October and we put the decorations on the rooftops and then after Halloween we uh, tip them up and tie them in place. And we work in the summertime too as well, you know, refurbishing decorations and any ideas that we come up with that might streamline our process, we'll work on those in the summer months. And now we've got a greedy really move to get everything up on the roofs and this type of thing between now and the rest of the, the November so that on that last Thursday, on the 29th, Santa can actually have a spot to come and throw the switch and the lights all come on. For some of the volunteers, it's their first time stringing the trees along First Avenue. I'll pick it up. And there are some who have been involved with the festival year after year. Bill Drysdale is a, is a newcomer to town about, I think, eight years ago or so. Dedicated. He's working for us. Uh, he's a great volunteer, and he's got a 20-year plan to keep this thing going, doing it better and, and that type of thing. It's really nice to see the street all lit up. It uh, you know, sets the festive mood you know, for Christmas. And, and people who are passing by Ladysmith uh, turn in and have a look and it's just a good feeling to know that people on the island can share with us in the, in the bright lights. The longest ones that have been still active on the committee is Tracy and Duck yeah. Patterson. Uh, Duck's a counselor in town, but that's just his sideline. This kind of thing is his baby, his fun. Uh, the presidents come and go, but Duck's been there forever. And it's those folks that really do an awful lot for the keeping Festival of Lights alive. My family's grown up with it. It's part of our family. Uh, it's just neat. It's part of uh, my, my, our daughters and their husbands and the grandkids are involved in it. It's, it's part of our life. And there are volunteers looking after the volunteers. The Ladysmith Seniors put on a hot lunch for everyone who helps out on this cold November morning. In Ladysmith, I'm Annette Lucas.